Hey man, it's me, Kevin Smith. Uh, clips. I'm going to show you some clips from my movies. This one right now is uh, the rain scene from Chasing Amy, man, when uh, Ben Affleck's character, Holden McNeil, declares his love for Joey Adams' character, Alyssa Jones. Uh, this is the scene. If you look real closely, fucking, you know, when he's walking back to the car, you'll see the entire fucking crew reflected in the window. I've been hearing that shit for 24 fucking years, man. I'm like, that, that's what you're picking up? What about Cop Out? Pick on all of that. Don't pick on the one Chasing Amy reflection scene. So yeah, look closely. You'll see the crew reflected uh, as Ben walks back to his truck and stuff in the rain. We got real lucky uh, with the rain. Uh, Rat Face, who was our production designer, Robert Holtzman, um, he knew a guy named John Berzicelli who uh, worked in um, uh, like down by in Cherry Hill area um, that uh, worked for the fire department. So he had access to a fire truck and had the rain towers. So he made it rain for us. Like in that scene, we were able to, that rain wasn't real as movie rain and shit, but our budget was 250 grand. So having fake movie rain was like such a, a luxury and stuff. So, uh, check it out, man. It was wonderful performances, heartfelt stuff. Um, and, uh, a moment that, you know, honestly got Joey nominated for a golden globe that year. So enjoy. Why are we stopping? Because I can't take this. Can't take what? I love you. You love me. I love you. And not, not in a friendly way. Although I think we're great friends. And not in a misplaced affection puppy dog way. Although I'm sure that's what you'll call it. I love you. Very, very simple, very truly. You are the, the epitome of everything I have ever looked for in another human being. And I know that you think of me as just a friend and crossing that line is, is, is the furthest thing from an option you would ever consider, but <sighs> I had to say it. I just, I can't take this anymore. I can't stand next to you without wanting to hold you. I can't, I can't look into your eyes without feeling that that longing you only read about in trashy romance novels. I can't talk to you without wanting to express my love for everything you are. And I know uh, this will probably queer our friendship, no pun intended. But I had to say it. So I've never felt this way before. And I, I don't care. I like who I am because of it. And if bring this to light means we can't hang out anymore, then that hurts me. But God, I just, I couldn't allow another day to go by without just getting it out there, regardless of the outcome. Which, by the look on your face, is to be the inevitable shoot down. And you know, I'll accept that. But I know, I know that some part of you is hesitating for a moment. And if there's a moment of hesitation, then that means you feel something too. And all I ask, please, is that you just, you just not dismiss that and try to dwell in it for just 10 seconds. God. Alyssa, there isn't another soul on this fucking planet who has ever made me half the person I am when I'm with you. And I would risk this friendship for the chance to take it to the next plateau because it is there between you and me. You can't deny that. Even if, you know, even if we never talk again after tonight, Please know that I am forever changed because of who you are and what you've meant to me. Which, while I do appreciate it, I'd never need a painting of birds bought at a diner to remind me of.
wasn't something I said. Fuck. What are you doing? Get back in the car and get out of here. What, you're gonna hitch to New yeah. York? Why aren't you at least gonna comment? Here's my comment. Fuck you! Why? That was so unfair. You know how unfair that was. What, it's unfair that I'm in love with no, you? No, it's unfortunate that you're in love with me. It's unfair you felt the fuck of me to unburden your soul about it. Do you remember for one fucking second who I am? So? I mean, you know, people change. Oh, oh, it's that simple. You fall in love with me and want a romantic relationship, nothing changes for you. With the exception of feeling hunky-dory all the time, but what about me, Holden? It's not that simple. I just can't get into a relationship with you without throwing my whole fucking world into upheaval. Listen, that's every relationship. There's always going to be a period of adjustment. Period of adjustment? There's no period of adjustment, Holden. I am fucking gay. That's who I am. And you assume that I can just turn all that around because you've got a fucking crush? If this is a crush, I don't think I can take it if the real thing ever happened. Go home, Holden. Hey kids, did you like that? All of these movies are available on iTunes or Netflix in some places, Amazon and other places. You can find them. They're available. Patronize them if you will. Uh, also, if you like this kind of stuff, come on over to That Kevin Smith Club. Go to thatkevinsmithclub.com. Join up, man. I do wake and bake three times a week where I wake up and just smoke weed with y'all and stuff. Come to That Kevin Smith Club for more video antics with Kevin Smith.